Hello everyone, this is Jack. Well, in this video, I'm going to cover seven things that you can bury in your garden or your raised beds and use them as free fertilizer. These things are great in decomposing in your garden and they'll provide nutrients to your plants. Now, I'm also going to be covering certain things that you should not bury in your garden. So that's coming up later in the video too. So let's get started. Number one, kitchen scraps. You can use any kinds of kitchen scraps. What I have here is some squash peels, some leftovers from tomatoes. Also have some burner squash peels here. These are really good to bury in your garden. Now, another thing that's really good to add to your garden is banana peels. These add potassium to your soil as well. Another thing you can add to your garden is any leftover greens or spoiled greens as well. One thing that works really well in the garden is mushroom scraps. Any mushroom that's gone bad or the ends of the mushrooms. Mushrooms are fungi and worms absolutely love mushrooms. They actually feed on the fungi that grows on the kitchen scraps. So if you add mushrooms into your raised beds or your garden, you're going to attract a lot of earthworms, which are going to be really good for your garden and to decompose all of these kitchen scraps into rich organic matter called black gold. If you're burning kitchen scraps in your garden, just make sure not to use the avocado peels because avocado peels take a while to decompose and they also smell a lot while decomposing as well. Another thing, refrain from using onion and garlic scraps because worms do not like onions and garlics. Well, onions and garlics are really good at repelling insects. So if you do want to repel insects from your garden, you can use them, but they will also repel earthworms, which you want to attract in your garden so they can help in decomposing all the kitchen scraps into rich organic matter. Now, an issue you might face when you bury kitchen scraps, bread, and other things into your garden is that rodents, raccoon, or even your own dog will dig them up. Now, the best way to prevent all of these creatures from digging up your garden is to use some sort of a fencing material. Put that down where you actually bury all of these things and then weigh the fence down with heavy bricks. This way, critters won't be able to get to it. Number two, eggshells. Now, we collect all of these eggshells and we keep saving them until we're preparing our bed so that we can add all of these eggshells into our garden. Eggshells are really good at adding calcium to the garden. However, don't be fooled. The calcium from the eggshell will not be released into your soil very quickly. It can take six months to a year for the eggshells to decompose and all the calcium to dissolve into the soil for the plants to intake. For faster decomposition, you can also crush the eggshells and then add to your garden as well. Eggshells are really good to add to the garden where you're going to be planting tomatoes because tomatoes love calcium. The best way to add eggshells into your garden is over the fall months in August, September, October in the beds where you're going to be planting your tomatoes. This way, the eggshells have five to six months to decompose before you start planting your tomatoes in March and April. Number three, all the cardboard products such as cardboard boxes, toilet paper rolls, and paper towel rolls. Just make sure these cardboard boxes don't have any plastic tape or any kind of stickers on them. I usually save all of these toilet paper rolls and add them to my garden as well. Worms love cardboard. So whenever you put cardboard into your garden, you will always see worms gathering underneath it or even inside the cardboard as well. And these toilet paper rolls provide perfect conditions to aerate the soil, provide enough aeration in the soil for worms to actually intake air and also to take shelter as well. When you bury cardboard, toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls in your garden, in three months, you won't be able to recognize them or even find them into your garden. Worms will take care of them. Number four, stale bread. Now stale bread is also really good to add to your garden. Just make sure there's not too much salt in your bread. Bread will absorb moisture and also provide perfect condition for worms to hide and feed as well. Mold and fungus grows really easily on stale bread and which worms would really like. So the worms are going to enjoy stale bread into your garden and they will turn this into rich organic fertilizer. Number five, coffee grounds. Now coffee grounds are usually acidic in nature, however, Brewed coffee grounds are usually neutral in nature because all the acidity is washed out of them. So you can safely use coffee grounds into your soil without worrying about changing the pH level of your soil. Coffee grounds are really fine, so they break down very easily and they absorb moisture really well as well, which helps to keep moisture in your soil. Also, worms love to munch on the fungus that grows on the coffee grounds. and They help to decompose coffee grounds even faster. Number six, grass clippings. And number seven, dead or fallen leaves. Now you can add these into your garden or into your soil as well and they provide a lot of organic matter into your soil. Grass clippings contain up to 4% nitrogen and they're a really good source of nitrogen to add to your garden. Just make sure you don't have any grass seeds or weed seeds when you mow your lawn. Also, only use grass clippings into your garden if you do not use any chemical compounds into your lawn as well. 
Fallen leaves or dead leaves are a free resource available in fall and autumn. You can easily rake them using a lawnmower. I have a separate video on how you can gather lots of dead leaves with a lawnmower in a very short amount of time. So check that out if you're interested. So no matter what kind of soil you have, adding all of these seven things into your garden increases organic matter into your soil, microbial life into your soil, makes your soil living, and also adds nutrient into your soil, which is free fertilizer for your plants. Now let me also quickly mention few things that you should not bury into your garden. The first one is wood chips. Now wood chips is a great source of mulch. It helps to retain moisture into your garden and also prevents weeds from growing. However, do not mix wood chips into your soil unless you want to grow blueberries or you want to grow other acidic soil loving plants such as potatoes and basil because wood chips do make the soil more acidic. Another drawback of using wood chips into your soil is that wood chips are mainly carbon and they lock up the nitrogen into your soil. So the nitrogen is not available to the plants to use. Now the same goes for pine needles as well. Pine needles also make the soil acidic, so do not add pine needles into your ground unless you want to lower the pH level of your soil. Another thing you should not add to your soil is peanut peels. Now these peanut shells actually are very hard and they're very hard to decompose as well. Now other things you should not add to your garden is dairy and meat products including eggs. Now let me clarify this. Why is that I refrain from using eggs, dairy and meat in my garden? The reason is that these things attract anaerobic bacteria. They do not decompose very quickly and they also attract a lot of bad insects. Now everything in this world decomposes, even iron decomposes. So milk, egg and meat will eventually decompose and provide nutrients into your soil. However, it will take over a long period of time and in that time, if you dig up your garden, it will smell really bad. So these things are better to add to your compost pile if you maintain and take care of your compost pile. Otherwise, your compost pile can also go rancid very quickly. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can use all of this information to utilize kitchen scraps, breads, and other things to bury into your garden. And I'll see you in another video.